Welcome beautiful people, it's uh, Quinton from the Hunters of Light and today we are going to be talking about uh, double exposures, specifically double exposures that you can do in camera. Uh, this is in conjunction with uh, this month's uh, photo of the month, uh, photo of the month, this is the t-shirt that you can, no, not this t-shirt, but uh, this is the t-shirt that the winners will get when they win photo of the month, uh, it's either a t-shirt or a cap, so uh, Guys, it's a, it's a good opportunity to A, get a, um, a Photographic Society of South Africa membership for one year, as well as win a fantastic t-shirt that only people who have won the photo of the month will get. Right, so again, as I said, uh, we're talking about uh, double exposures, double exposures that you can do in camera. And um, yeah, let's check it out, see what, uh, what you need to do, how to do it, and uh, what fun you can have. I really enjoyed uh, playing around with uh, these double exposures. Took a photo of my son and uh, a couple of uh, shrubberies outside, as well as bits and pieces of his car, um, which I think uh, worked out quite nicely. So yeah, let's get into it. Right, so the first thing you need to do is set up your portrait and shoot that, uh, that initial portrait. It has to be quite a high contrast. Uh, the person uh, needs to be quite dark and the background ideally blown out. Uh, what I did is I shot this in my studio, um, very simple setup, I just put an Octobox behind uh, my son and um, just to get a little bit more of uh, you know detail in his uh, eyes, I put a, another light on the side just to fill it a little bit so, so that you can see uh, a bit of detail there as opposed to a 100% silhouette uh, shot. So once you've done that and you're happy with the shot and the angle etc, it's time to head outside. All right, so let's get into the settings. You'll find multiple exposure in the red uh, tab. Uh, at the moment, uh, it's uh, number five. I'm not sure in earlier models where it would be, but just look for multiple exposure, and you'll see that it's set to disabled. Select uh, multiple exposure, and it'll open up uh, the menu items for it. Don't worry about any of the, the other ones. All you need to look at now is uh, where it says multiple exposure disabled. Click on that and make it on. Uh, there might be different wording on older cameras, but uh, for now select on and then scroll all the way down to select image for multiple exposure. This is where you select that first portrait image. So you can scroll through your uh, images that you've taken uh, and then press the set button and that image will then be used as the first image for uh, your double exposure. Then click on menu and you can now half press down your shutter. And if you view it using live view, you'll be able to see what, uh, what the exposure is and um, whatever it is that you've got in the, in the, the, for the second exposure will bleed through the darker areas of that initial portrait. So there you go, it's that simple. Uh, time to go outside and explore. So here's the first exposure, and then uh, the second exposure, and that's how it was blended in camera. Really, really cool. So here we go again, first exposure, uh, this was the second exposure, and uh, the result. Now, as I mentioned, when you, this is what you'll see when you are looking through the, the viewfinder or in live view. Um, you just select the, the image that, you, that you're looking for, and uh, it bleeds through the darker areas. So you can get some really, really cool effects. I'm really happy with, uh, with how this turned out. I quite like using uh, images that uh, relate to my son uh, with his uh, portrait, so he really loves his car, so that's, uh, that's why we did that. I think it turned out really, really well. Remember to enter the Hunters of Light Photo of the Month competition. This month is double exposures. You've got until the end of the month to enter. You can win one year's membership of the Photographic Society of South Africa and this amazing Photo of the Month t-shirt, only available to winners. All right, everyone, I can't wait to see your images. Good luck.